Hi, I'm Special. I'm Mike. Our hometown is Warsaw in Poland. We're 18 and we're here to tell you about the so-called curious effect. You might have observed it. They eat some milk cereals. The objects floating on the surface of fluid tend to attract each other. In some cases they may also repel. We're gonna quickly explain the mechanism of this phenomenon. An object heavier than water, such as a pin, gently placed on a liquid surface, will bend it, creating a crater-like deflection. If we put another pin nearby, it will behave the same way. The gravity will try to pull it down even further, which is possible with drawing it down the slope of its predecessor's crater. The same effect occurs if we consider objects lighter than water, such as a bubble. Due to the buoyancy, it will simply climb up the curvature created by another bubble. On the other hand, for the identical reason, objects heavier than water were repel the lighter ones. Gravity was crucial so far in curiosity. So, here comes the question. Will this phenomenon be observed in space? In our opinion, yes. How? In space, there's no buoyancy in our way. In fact, the situation is even worse. You can't simply keep the water in a bowl. Luckily, there is a solution. We'll just investigate the curious effect on a droplet on a solid surface. The surface tension will not only keep the liquid together, it will also exert an extra pressure, just like a balloon. In some cases, this pressure may even be negative. This occurs for a droplet between two large balls making them attract. One can reliably estimate the force between smaller objects only numerically. To determine their behavior, we like to run the experiment in space. We'd like to record the attraction of a pair of objects on different droplets using both of very sensitive materials so that we could verify our theory. The true effect would seem to be not involved in the curious but it might become a basis for many amazing technologies such as self assembling systems. As the mechanism of this phenomenon is totally different on our time and space, this research might actually create brand new opportunities to develop such applications. This experiment is so simple, why don't you run it at home? And help us to run it in space. Vote for us! Zero and lift off!